Welcome back to the channel everyone and thank you for all the love and support. Our legendary bout number 3 is with Tifa. Equip everything as shown. For the first round, do an ADB boost and Kasha Thundaga. If all of these bots are closed, then that should be it. And if for some reason they're a bit apart, then punch them more to move on to the next round. This is a very simple fight. Start with an unfettered fury and try to get close to make the dark claw with its attacks. If it does a simple swipe attack, move him close, throw in three punches and create some distance before it attacks again. Its next attack is usually a spinning one, so move him close again and this time try to land four to five hits. Keep making it with its attacks and build up your ADBs and wait until it does Reaper Claws. Right afterwards, it will enter the pressure state. This is your chance to move in for the kill. Land some attacks if you don't have two ADBs. Then cast Stop. Do an ADB boost and then follow up with two focus strikes. Keep attacking until you stagger the Dark Claw and build two ADBs. Now time to do these precise attacks to finish it off. True Strike. Another two strike, rage and fall, dive kick, omni flurry, and then another dive kick. Don't worry about your ADBs, they'll fill up if you follow the sequence of attacks. Next up, we have Kid G. I've had some comments where people have said that he's very difficult and a pain. He's not actually. Allow me to show you. Do an unfettered fury and run around him. Try to make him come close and then dodge away twice to make him whip his attacks. If you stay close or don't dodge in time, he will hit you. So maintain your distance. Keep doing this until he does Goblin Beatdown. Attack him right afterwards and that will pressure him. Attack and build two ADBs. Do Overpower and then cast Haste. Do not attack him after he gets back up. Dodge around him until he uses Sledgehammer. This is an AOE attack, so don't just rush in right afterwards or you'll get hit. Wait until you see the smoke disperse, then move in close to attack and pressure him again. Build two ADBs, then do overpower twice, the second one when he hits the ground. Again, be careful not to keep attacking him when he gets back up. Otherwise, he will either counter you or heal up, and we don't want either of that. Wait for another goblin beat down, but this time, just attack him to build up your two ADBs. Do not use any ability. The stagger bar should be about 90% filled. Once he does Sledgehammer, fill up that stagger bar completely and do this series of attacks. True Strike, another True Strike, Rage and Fall, Dive Kick, Omni Flurry, Dive Kick, and then another Dive Kick to finish him off. Simple and sweet. Not much of a pain now, is he? I'm going to make this fight super easy for you. Do an ADB boost and dodge away to create some distance. Then do Unfettered Fury to max your concentration. Build up to ADBs and then cast stop. Just be careful not to cast it when he's in the air or if you think that he's going to be an animation where your attacks won't connect. Attack to build to ADBs and then do a true strike, another true strike, rage and fall, dive kick, omni flurry and another dive kick. Create some distance right before stop wears out. He should have less than 50% health left. In my case, he was about to use Pamel, so just going to evade it. Look for openings to build ADBs between his attacks. Watch out for his mines and try not to get close to them. When you have two ADBs, do an Aroga. Keep your distance and land some attacks whenever you get the opportunity.
Once you have two full ADBs again, Aroga to finish the fight. The final round is against a Jabberwock. ADB boost and dodge away. Then unfettered fury. Land some attacks and maintain your distance from it. We are just going to attack with simple punches and kicks using the square button and await his attacks. That's it. We'll keep at it until the stagger bar is full. The Jabberwock will only use its normal attacks or lithic curse. Whenever you see it use its lithic curse, dodge away. Keep doing this until you stagger it. Then cast stop. Now we're gonna finish him off in this one stagger bar. It up. Hold it. Build up two ADBs, then do two true strikes, rage and fall, dive kick, omni flurry, and another dive kick. Now even though you can finish him off here with the attacks and abilities that I'm about to show you in a bit, if for some reason you are low on stats, the safer approach is to build one ADB and then cast stop on him again. Build one ADB, Unfeathered Fury, Omni Flurry, and finish the bout with a dive kick. Tifa versus the Martialist completed nice and simple. Do that again. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next one.